Hello there, how are you? And yes, judging by the title you write, I am going to be reacting to the trailer. I saw like a, 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 a very small clip of it, of um, the trailer on Facebook. But this is the actual trailer. And I'm going to go back for it and break it down as best as I can. There's loads of videos that do it better than I do anyway, but I just thought... See what it's just, just let's just see what I spot, okay? If I miss something, then don't hate me, you know what I mean? So, there it goes, and also convey some of my thoughts in it, okay? So, anyway, this is Deadpool 3, probably going to be one of the best Marvel films out recently. Um, I haven't bothered to watch the Marvels, it looked a bit meh. It's the thing about Captain Marvel, no offense, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, People say to me, oh, you have to watch it so it links up. Because you need to, there's little bits in that film that link up to the, uh, the, was it, the Infinity War series. Does it, eh, does it, does it balls? Does it, it's absolute garbage. It's like, and, you know, even if it's post credit scene, it's not worth waiting all that, sitting through all that crap just to see the post credit scene, you know what I mean? Um, it's like Captain Marvel film. The thing that stole the show for that film was the with the cat, which is is not very good, is it? It's like when a cat steals the show. I mean, if you like it, it's fair enough. But I just can't stand. I can't stand it. Um, and there's nothing. First of all, there's nothing wrong with chick uh, chick flicks, right? There's nothing wrong wrong with chick flicks. I have seen a few in my day, but they're not really my cup of tea. And Marvel's just screams chick flick, which is okay. Fair enough. If that's your cup of tea, then watch it. But from what I've seen of it, it's mm, and um, when I saw chunks of it. Don't get wrong, I see chunks of it. I'm like, Ugh. and it's next, and yeah, it's there's many reasons. Bro, I don't go to. I don't. don't go, I can't be asked to go to. It's not worth the effort. But um, yeah, so Deadpool three, like I said, it's like a uh, Ryan Reynolds. Our man Ryan Reynolds is going to save Marvel. Don't get me. Actually, the best films I've seen lately in terms of Marvel recently, and it's, they're not they're quite in years, they're quite spread out, is No Way Home, Multiverse of Madness. This is after Infinity War, sorry. Um so Multiverse of Madness, No Way Home. Was there another one? That might have been it. As far as I can remember, up until like this film, Deadpool Three. So for me, this would be the next one. Um, but yeah, this this film is going to be something that's going to set up sort of for Secret Wars. But you'll see. No, you you if you haven't seen it, you'll spot it. But um, uh, mate, my Mac, I'll point out to you. Uh, mate, my Mac, who I also work with, uh, he sent me a message on WhatsApp saying, "Dude, look at this," and it's like a picture with a circle, and it's basically. Uh, Secret Wars. Hey, anyway. so it's all leading up to that. We obviously know that um, this is going to be a different incarn incarnation of Logan. Um, I'm not sure because I would, the only way I could see it, the only interesting thing I could see about it is you no. Know, we'll watch the trailer. We'll watch the trailer. Let's talk about it in a minute. But all I say is I think that Wolverine's from eight three eight. Because if the TVA have grabbed Deadpool and get him to go out to places, it's like I got a feeling that because if when you think about it, if someone killed Charles or Professor X as we know him, Charles, you know, there's an in, intimate level of relationship there, like father and son near enough, isn't there, with uh, Professor X and Wolverine, hence why he calls him Charles. So if anyone killed Charles and there's a Wolverine on eight three eight, he's gonna be super pissed. He's going to be coming after you. So I reckon he's going to be from that universe. But from what we hear, we've got Tobey Maguire. Um, the OG Tobey Maguire. Yith. And Wolverine being over going over to Secret Wars as well as some other characters. There's going to be allegedly a cameo. Um, of Ghost Rider, Nicolas Cage. But anyway. The thing is, this with this one though, I think the thing is, I trust, I trust the word... I trust the word of Ryan Reynolds. He wasn't bored because apparently, um, from what I found out, intri interesting enough, I, I can't remember if it was budget or 
scheduling problems or whatever. Hugh Jackman was actually meant to be in Deadpool 1. But they just didn't get around to it. Or something happened. But the thing is, I trust Ryan Reynolds. If he says this, these people are going to be in it, it's going to be... I trust him. I just trust him more than I do the other places where we get all the hype, yeah? Ryan Reynolds, he didn't, he didn't give a shit about this, that, or the other. This is his passion. This is his baby. This is his love child in terms of films, right? Oh, yeah. So it's kind of like I, I, he's not gonna, he's not gonna, he's not gonna let that slide if people fuck, excuse me, fuck him about. So if he says Hugh Jackman's gonna be in it, he is, and he obviously drops us off that <laughs> great teaser. I mean, he teased it for a while, didn't he? Like he was around Hugh Jackman's flat in a Deadpool suit. But then he dropped us with that short bit of video and he's like, Hey Hugh, do you fancy playing Wolverine again? He's like, sure, sure, yeah, right. And then, right, so I'm getting get all giddy now because that was fucking epic. I'm getting, I'm feeling what I felt during that time, but that was fucking great, you know. So yeah, let's, let's, let's yeah. All right, watch this. Yeah. All right, okay. Um, it's been a challenging few years, for sure. But I'm happy. That is because of each and every one of you. I am the luckiest man alive. Make a wish, buddy. Lee Wilson? Who's asking? Whoa, 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 whoa. I hope I don't get copyrighted first because usually you try. I don't like reaction to trailers because they fucking done. What's it? Hopefully it won't do because I know Ryan Reynolds wouldn't care because he'd be like, yeah, share it around, mate. You know what I mean? Is that supposed to be scary? Pegging isn't new for me, friendo, <laughs> but it is for Disney. I love the fact that it's a piss out of stuff. You know. Mr. Wilson, you appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? She has good you, you? Why am I here? Walk with me. Wait. You are special. This is your chance to be a hero. Among Sorry if that hurt your ears. I forgot. <laughs> Young heroes. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. Your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. I'm the Messiah. I am. Sorry, but I, I love the fact because thing is, it, it sorry, I'm not interrupting it. Sorry, but what great me is uh, they tried to do a she a she Hulk and it was just sucked. But it's just the fact that Deadpool just does it. it's just, it's, it's, Deadpool does it better, breaking the fourth wall, and it's funny. It's not fannying around for some plot thing. It's you know, I love it. It's the way I do it. There. It's like it's, it's like, what. It's like the funny thing is as well, when you think about it, when he does it with other characters, it's kind of like bearing in mind that they know about the multiverse, so it's kind of funny as well and interesting. Where it's like, what well, I mean, that should be an episode of What If. You know what I mean? What if you found out that you're a fictional character but you're real in a multiverse somewhere? You know what I mean? Because it's like Marvel's a. You know what I mean? It's fucking. It's, it's fucking brilliant. Sometimes the small things are overlooked, you know. Or should be the good bits, you know. Stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. <laughs> no, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. Oh. 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 Hang on. Oh. Considering the, the photos we've seen, you know where those claws are going? Up. You know, right in there. What's it? Up like that. Fucking hell. So, yeah, I've just spotted. The thing is, I've just spotted some bits as well that um, haven't really got mentioned. 
it's one of those if you don't if you if you don't spot it you'll miss it um that proves some of the locations fucking hell man i think i just cracked it i think i just cracked one because there's a, a we'll go back for it there's a woods in there that everyone's saying is in the beginning of the avengers film which don't get me wrong oh it's age of ultron don't get me wrong that's feet that's feasible but the sang that picked up that soldier swooped up like a black cloud what was now what do we know that's a black cloud that eats everything that's in a desolate wasteland it's that thing in loki i can't remember his bloody name now that big cloud that just eats and destroys matter we'll go back and watch it and see what i mean yeah? i'll break it down happy birthday to you i mean all right obviously we've got here everyone's back because at the end of deadpool 2 and he said free then <laughs> Um, he brought he did he did the time traveling stuff um well if you say though do if, if i don't i don't think ryan reynolds will see us but in my opinion i liked green lantern and the irony of green lantern is it did also pave way for visual effects a lot of the visual effects to use in marvel came from uh green lantern ironically I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was a bad film. They could have had it where, um, you know, when he goes off in space. After that, because they said they said in that film, oh, we haven't encountered any aliens. He's the only alien. That alien they found was it Abin Sur. He was the only alien they encountered. They could have had it where when he flew off. That's when you have then Man of Steel because he's off fighting Sinestro. Uh, he goes flying off, right? Does his bits, does his job. You have Man of Steel, Batman, all that stuff. And during this process of Batman or Justice League and all that sort of thing, the reason why he didn't turn up is because he's fighting Sinestro. Mm. But anyway, in that bit, he brings his girlfriend back. Although someone said his girlfriend could be Mimic. And he brought other characters back, hence why they're at his party. Um, yes. All right, okay. Um, it's been a challenging few years. X for sure. That's it. His own team here. But I'm happy. That is because of each and every one of you. Yeah, him. I'm him and Mustache. He died apparently in the Deadpool tour, so brings he brought him back. Luckiest man alive. <laughs> Make a wish, buddy. <laughs> Wade Wilson? Who's asking? The thing that makes it interesting, I mean, yes, the TVA, the TVA still exists, but the interesting thing is, I, I mean, I would like to know why they're, I mean, if it's probably an emergency, I mean, they probably, it depends, I don't know, I suppose it still comes down to um, who they got to collect, isn't it? Because say, for example, it was Wolverine, you have to pick up Wolverine, Wolverine's like, I ain't get, he didn't like being told what to do. So you probably would send an, an armed escort, or you'd probably send an armed bunch to pick up on him. Say it was Bruce or something, you know what I mean? Trends you picking up, but I find it interesting that they're aggressive in this, because it's like, last time we saw the TVA, they were basically given, they're basically given a permission, as it were, to, um, so I'm fucking running They were basically more relaxed, more chill. They weren't so draconian. They didn't serve Kang anymore. They were still an organization that protected the multiverse. They were basically they did the they did the off they did just logistics as it were. And Loki, obviously, if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert. Stop watching this video. Spoiler alert. With Loki, it's kind of like he now controls. He is the the, the keeper of the multiverse. He's like the god of multiverse. I know that's not what it's called. In, I know that's not what it's called in Marvel. But technically he is. If he's holding the fabric of space and time and the multiverse together, he essentially is. Yeah, you could say he's like a god of the multiverse. I mean, he's holding it together. And then they were like, because of that, all that's happened, it's like, well, we were kind of corrupt. You know, it's a bad cop, good cop thing, isn't it? So it's like we're kind of, had a, got, a, got a bad eggs. And it wasn't working, you know what I mean? So they gave, gave him a choice now, remembering who you were 
and all that sort of stuff. So they're more relaxed and tame about it. So it's interesting to see this aggressive stance. But then again, like I said, I suppose it depends who you're going to collect. It's like, will they come willingly? Nah. I mean, Deadpool, the thing is, they observe everyone, don't they? So with Deadpool, it's like he was reluctant to join the X-Men. He was like, no, no, thanks, I'm not a team player. So they know he's probably going to resist them. So, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that supposed to be scary? Pegging isn't new for me, friendo, but it is for Disney. That's a reference to Deadpool 1. When Deadpool 1, I think it was on that, was it Valentine's Day or something? You know, the, 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 yeah. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Mr. Wilson. Apparently, from what I've learned, his name is good, might be, he might be potentially a character called Paradox. I don't know much about Paradox. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I've been out of the loop with a lot of Marvel. I'm not saying I don't know anything about it, because obviously I learn stuff from cross crossover studies or whatever I do, like if I'm doing content, you know, that sort of thing. Um, you know, because sometimes, I mean, the thing is, a lot of... Not being horrible, but a lot of comics and a lot of things are not rocket science. It's like if you miss like five issues of so and so, if they cross over to say, no, no Doctor Strange, I've got like a Doctor Strange books and stuff like that. Um, you can pick it up. You know what I mean, it's like, oh, so and so's got a kid now. You don't need to know the ins and the outs. Oh, they got a kid. That's happening now with them. That's, you know, it's like, you know, I could easily do it with TV programs, let alone anything else. You know what I mean? That's what we had to do before streaming, before we had digital stuff. You know what I mean? And it, it's not hard to work out who's what's happening and all this sort of stuff. You know what I mean? Hence why sometimes it's like, I'm, why would I waste my time to watch Marvel? It's just to see the post credit scene that had Beast from the Fox Universe in. Not Fox Universe, the... Uh, oh, fucking hell, was it Michael Bay? No. Yeah, you know I mean, the, the, uh, <coughs> the OG Beast, he, he became spokesperson in the United Nations or something like that. Me. But yeah, but he's taken on the job that Mobius had. <clears throat> <clears throat> but his name is Paradox. You appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? <laughs> Why am I here? Walk with me. Wait. See, and the thing is, as well, because... <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Uh, um, sorry. So he's not being arrested, because thing is, uh, I mean, technically, yeah, he's broken a lot of rules for the timeline. Although, to be fair, when he was doing this, the same thing as well, you can't, people put the blame around on the multiverse, you know, on certain characters, oh, who broke the multiverse, who did this, etc. Um, it makes a difference, because Eric's been patched up in Loki, so it's kind of like, and the TVA are not, excuse me, the, the terminology, but they're not that anal anymore, if that makes sense. <clears throat> but obviously, it's like, yeah, sure, he's probably broken a lot of rules, or, you know, sort of thing. But I think it's like, like they did with Loki, it's like, because it's sort of saying, like, well, yeah, with Loki, they arrest Loki and then recruit him. Probably what they're doing with Deadpool. But the other thing to bear in mind is if you're, let's just say, for example, they want him to hunt someone down. It's kind of like, or if you're going to send, if you well, he is kind of basically like a bounty hunter, or not, not necessarily to bring, bring in, but like to recruit people and shit. It's like he's durable, isn't he? He's like, I mean, there's, you could, there's, there's a, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. But that's my. Uh, that's, I can see. I can understand why they would get Deadpool because it's like you could blow him to bits and he regenerate. You, know? you are special. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. Your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. So back there. Oh, where is it? I'm the Messiah. I say your little cinematic universe. See? There's two direct. Oh god! So <clears throat> there's two directions you can go. With it. Hang on, let's go back here. Heroes. I smell what you're 
step it in, Sensei. Your little cinematic. Oh, I'm not. Oh, hang on. I'm not saying I'm wrong on this, but Sang's just hit me. I mean, it wouldn't make sense what I'm going to suggest, but I do find it interesting. Anyway, so, anyway, so people are saying this looks like the back of James McAvoy. Um, some are saying it's Xavier's missus. Not missus, sorry. Xavier's sister. It was basically like a female version, equivalent of him, basically. But saying I find fat, I'm not saying it is, but saying I do find fascinating though this this shot, the collar and the coat, because I saw it in the merch for. Was it Multiverse of Madness? I can't remember now. But the ancient one, I'm not saying it is yet. Oh my god, hang on. See, what we need is an enhanced backup of that, because if it's got scars on the back, that's the ancient one. Only because I'm saying, because she had a coat in the, mer the merchandise, she had a coat like that. With a collar and all that sort of stuff. But I don't think it is, but it just, it, it just dawned, it sank hit me like deja vu. Anyway. So, so, so anyway, just put that, just put us a right at the bottom pile list, you know what I mean? Uh... Because you never know if they hadn't, if if because don't forget they had ideas that they were scrapped in Multiverse of Madness, and um, so you never know, they might in inject it somewhere else. But anyway, so <clears throat> if this is not McAvoy, which it could be because it does look like the back of his head, then it's uh, was it they, well, they, they claim it might be one of the roles that Taylor Swift might be playing. I'm not sure, she, no offence to her, but I'm not sure she can act. I don't know, I haven't seen her act, acting at all. But if not, it's the lady version of uh, Professor X. The universe is, is uh, about to change forever. That's Wolverine. I'm the Messiah. I am. That's Wolverine sat in, um, there's, um, there's a comic or something with him, or an eye patch and a white suit. I can't remember which, which issue it was, but... I don't know what to keep borrowing. But yeah, um... <laughs> but you see what I mean though their reaction it's like if you're unaware of shit you'd go who the fuck is Marvel Jesus because I'm not sure I don't know who Paradox is like I said I don't I don't see the comics of him but it's like the thing like the Watcher the Watcher's kind of like he knows you know what I mean there are certain beings in that, that the universe that know so it's kind of like it's, you know what I mean and I, I love that when it's like I'm not saying it's you know it's a work of genius you know what I mean it's it's fiction you know what I mean people shouldn't take comic book films seriously it's it's fiction you're meant to just enjoy it but I, but I think that little things get overlooked because you'll be laughing at what Ryan said, but you're overlooking little the little gems of like. Because it's like um, it's kind of like the Matrix films. There's less to the Matrix films, right? Where it's like, no one ever thinks of the implications of a fictional universe being aware, being aware of this universe. If it makes us, all this different layers to it, it's certainly interesting. I mean, they used to do a Star Trek once where. Was it Deep Space Nine? Is Star Trek real or is it a story in a novelist of 1920s New York or whatever? Or that's, yeah, whatever part of America it was in. But I mean, so it's, it's yeah, I, I, I like those little touches where it's like, they don't tell anything, what the fuck are you on about, mate? You know I mean? It's like, he's like, he's like, mm. it's like, what the fuck? Because they did it in She Hulk and it was stupid. The delivery of it was stupid. And it was kind of, I don't know, it doesn't work. 
how do I put it? There's certain characters and certain the way you, it's, it's the way it's done basically. Certain characters and certain things you can get away with it because the problem is right. I'm not saying they, they are trying to take themselves seriously, but you start it off with something that appears to be serious, and then it does the fourth wall thing. Right, like Deadpool has always been breaking the fourth wall. It's like if you look at the credits, like underpaid actor or <clears throat> underpaid uh, script written by some underpaid writer or something. Like, it just takes a piss out of it. So from that onset, you know it's not really take, take, taking itself seriously. So it, you know, what I mean? it works. You know what I mean? Uh, so She Hulk, it was uh, She Hulk. Shit, anyways, no offense. But yeah. <clears throat> <coughs> but the fact that it's mind you, it's, I know it's a TVA, but that's still not the point. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's like there's they've never apart from she. I mean, Deadpool still did it, still did it before them, but there's there's no there's no what's it um, breaking of fourth walls, is this? You know what I mean? Come on with it. You know I mean? ah! And can I just say, I could be wrong, but doesn't that lift look like the lift when he was in Wolverine Origins when he did the uh, ching 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 of bullets? Now, this the thing is. Because they do merge into two, the um, oh, for fuck's sake, the forest there. Actually, thing is, people say it could be Battleland or the forest that was in Avengers: Age of Ultron. Um, but then again, it could be plausibly either because don't forget we're watching this in chunks. The thing about trailers is they love to merge merge it in such a way you think, oh, that's in that place. And then when you watch a film, it's not. It's somewhere else. But this one with a... Is it Battle World, what you call it? This um, one of the lettering is definitely the place where Loki went to when he got uh, mullered. Yeah, oh, my oh, here we go. Do you see it? Blinking in the face. catch it yeah there you go do you know what though that is fascinating is no one's thought about this the place where loki went to yes there were buildings here and there but what's interesting about this place is it's literally if you look along there it's literally got a full-on <clears throat> complex or base built there which is in itself interesting I wonder, because I don't doubt it, because they have access to it. I wonder if they actually put, you know, like we have, like, in, you know, Star Trek, you've got Section 31. Uh, in our world, you've got Majestic 12. So I wonder if there's another bit of the TV that's got a secret base, like Area 51, but in the Battlelands, what do you call it? <clears throat> but yeah, that thing that's coming, it's fucking name now. But the creature that uh, just eats everything in that world. That's what that is, that thing. Oh, my fuck! Oh, now see us here. I, it wasn't just me, luckily, I found out, but people should really laugh, because, to be fair, <coughs> it's, it happened so fast, but watch this, right? It wasn't until I paused it and screenshot it, I thought, no, it ain't. But seriously, though, you, you can't help people not think, th thinking this was uh, Vic Vo uh, uh, Victor Von Doom. Because if you sat at, say, I am, uh, I mean, or even just your hand, you know, you've got your phone there. And that's because you look up close like that. You can see it's not him. 
But you see this guy with a hood and a metal mask on, and the first thing you think of is going to be... So, I think people don't shouldn't get hated on for that, all right? Because I made that assumption as well. It wasn't until I paused it, and then I was like, oh, no. You know what I mean? But come on. Hood, gold, silver mask. You're going to go, ooh, and it's a man the multiverse. I mean, come on. You're going to go, ooh, for about a few seconds, aren't you? And then go, oh, no, I was wrong. See? Actually, do you know what? And I'm happy to admit I'm wrong. If I'm wrong. Don't hold me to it, but I think that is the forest in... Right, it's okay. <clears throat> There's two options this. Uh, Mac, you told me about the comic book, mentioned this as well. But although, I'm just thinking because Logan's set in a different time... And you don't need, and fingers, Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart said they want to leave that project alone. They don't want to tarnish that. Just like Robert Downey Jr. doesn't want to tarnish the I Am Iron Man death scene, right? So if Robert Downey Jr. was to come back, it would be, there had to be a good excuse, i.e., .e., the multiverse, or uh, like, and that's why Patrick Stewart was able to come back, is because of the multiverse. They come up to him and said, look, you're not gonna you're not ruining Logan. This is gonna be a different Professor X from a different universe. So I don't think this is the forest where Logan is to get resurrected. Um although I can see how that works and it's, and it's snowy, I'm not sure if it was snowy there. But I don't think that is that because they don't want to fuck that fuck me you know, piss on that project. So um I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it, 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 oh, as, a, fucking hell, sorry, I've got itchy leg, as a part of a motive as to why they're fighting, it could be feasible, you know what I mean, resurrects him, he's not happy to be resurrected, but then again, I don't know, because, I don't think it matters if you resurrect him, because the whole point of the Logan film is, the, his body is just literally littered with, um, Adamantium poisoning. It's pretty much like killing. Imagine Tony Stark's arc reactor. You know that was it palladium that he first used. The palladium core was just literally just poisoning his whole body. So it wouldn't have mattered what you'd done unless, of course, you changed the, the substitute. You know? Um, I, I mean, to be fair, I, 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 I think the fans would love it if. Not if say if it's you not Jackman, but later on at some point, if you're got if you're crossing over these universes, you got places like Wakanda, right? When you think about it, they have well, they have technology to do delicate surgery, like the the stone on Vision's head, um, which they would have succeeded if it wasn't for the battle going around them. So I. Uh, there is one comic where Wolverine has vibranium. If Wolverine ever comes into the MCU, <clears throat> should they re reboot that character? Or if there's a way they can cure him by saying, look, mate, I mean, if actually, if you covered the adamantium in vibranium, I mean, you don't have to, because the problem is you don't have to strip the whole skeleton out, do you? You can just put, I mean, just a layer of it. I mean, this stuff's thin. You can make little lightweight shields out of it and shit like that. Um... <clears throat> I mean, they make clothes out of it, for Christ's sake. You know, I mean, Black Panther's costume is made of it. So it's kind of like... But if they layered his bones with vibranium, mate, he's going to be fucking unstoppable. He's going to be fucking... He's going to... That's going to be major badass. But, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't think it's good. But I don't think it's going to be the woods from Logan. So it's snow. And in one of the clips, there's a vehicle on its side, a Hydra uh, vehicle. But again, though, what's interesting is what 
what's sorry what's interesting is, is these are tva agencies fighting they're not hydra soldiers unless it could be not red herring pardon me it could be misdirection because for all we know they could have gone to various multiverses to try and recruit wade wilson this could be another deadpool we don't know but that forest does look like and people are saying it does make sense because we see that clip on the tva screen i don't know <clears throat> i don't know God, I love this part. oh and that's uh Fuck's sake. And that <clears throat> is Pyro. The thing, right, here you go, here you go, folks. So, to be fair, I, it's the multiverse, so we can't say yay or nay to characters coming over, but Pyro is from. Are they still Fox? I'm trying to get confused with these people saying the Michael Bay or this thing or blah blah. But, you know, I mean, um, he's from the OG X Men films. Hmm. And apparently he's in a comic book accurate costume as well. And the funny thing is, they do, do they, these soldiers and these like shrouds and shit. They do look, to be fair though, they, to be fair though, they do look like the remnants or the, or the mutants that were stranded about the place in Logan. I don't know. I don't know. I love this part. Wait! Wait! Wait. Wait. This is brilliant. Oh, here we go. Freeze frame. Can I get in there? Can I get in there? God, my tripod's still, for fuck's sake. Right. I'm not sure if you can see it. I oh, can't see it really well now. No, come on. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, I can see it. There you go. Look, Secret Wars, and it's of a secret. Oh, it's a, it's a comic of Secret Wars. Come on, remember they said it was. But yeah, nice little Easter egg there. So it's kind of all leading up to that. <laughs> You don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's only... Like I said, there's channels that do it better, and also they got more foresight than I have and ought and stuff. But, yeah. What do you reckon? I mean, I like I said, I... um, <clears throat> I reckon that forest could be the one that's the Age of Ultron. I mean, don't forget, you're dealing with time travel and different timelines and multiverse, so anything's possible. Um, it's not going to... I mean, it's not going to affect shit, to be fair, I mean, in terms of... I think we've established that everything's gone to shit anyway. Um, <clears throat> and, and the thing is, they keep flip-flopping this whole thing with Kang. If they could do the Kang and replace him or do the Victor Von Doom. But either way, it's safe to say it's all gone to, sh sh gone to scrap. I mean, it's a spaghetti. The only thing that makes me laugh, though, is a lot of people, Marvel fans, do misinterpret misinterpret something. <clears throat> and it, yes, it was as complicated. The problem is, the thing is, it's uh, the science behind it. It's basically quantum mechanics, quantum physics, and stuff like that. <sighs> but they're trying to keep it as understandable as, as ever because the problem is. Everyone's assuming that the multiverse never existed before Loki or Infinity Wars and that sort of stuff. But bear in mind that the multiverse has always been there. Because you have mul cause there's multiple timelines and there's multiple universes, but they're all different. Um, you could say multiple timelines comes from... The thing is, basically, you could have... A, it's like a multiverse... It's like a... Uh, puzzle box or a Russian doll. You can have a Russian doll within one universe, for example, yeah? Um, I'm not saying this is right, but I'm trying to keep it simple. I mean, 
it's complex, but it's not that hard to wrap your head around after a while. He says. Um, but it's like, because in, in this universe, say for example, you're one timeline. Unless, of course, there's a god and everything's predestined. If you don't believe that, the problem is the universe still has to not guess, but we call it. Even if it's random chance, it doesn't matter. It still has to go somewhere. Because how is how there has to be that there has to be a, a a multiverse or multiple different realities or timelines. Because, say, for example, someone offers you an ice cream and you go, "No, thank you." But in one branch reality, you said yes. So unless, of course, it's predetermined by some divine force or something force we don't know about. That's predetermined. You said no. It still has to branch off somewhere in case you know, or there's also one for maybe. So you have a spaghetti in itself. So um, I forgot the point I was going going all this, but it's like basically. So you have a multiverse and you have a, a, a multi multi time verse, or you know, to try and simplify it. So there'd be t timeline differentials with like, uh, so it wouldn't matter if, so basically it wouldn't matter if you went to a different universe and picked up Captain America from the age of Ultron, because that in that universe, it could happen differently. It's like, for example, in, oh, pardon me. They could have picked, well, that's it. <gasps> they could have picked him up in a universe where, because there's that like one universe where Ultron wins, right? It could have picked him up from there. It's it's not it's 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 but it, but sorry, the, the TVA have a library or access or a system like a quantum computer that can run an, an algorithm that picks out places. Yeah, I don't think Captain America would be a bit in it, but all these points leading up to Secret Wars. There's I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a particular reason. Like people have said, there is a particular reason why they show certain Avengers on the screen. So, the point is, I'm saying, is you can still go to, because of this, the multiverse, like a spaghetti. And also, from what if? We've seen universes where everyone's died and Ultron wins. So, in that universe, it wouldn't matter if you pulled Captain America out. It's like Doctor Strange. Uh, no, Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. Spider-Man No Way Home. The villains, at least, of those car of those, fucking hell, the villains of those Spider-Man film, at least, unlike um, Peter Parker. They um all happen to arrive at point of death. So history still records them as dead. Well, they're saying that when it gets undone, they get sent back to the point where they need to go. Again, with I mean, it's gonna be a big multiverse. It's gonna be a big fucking mess and reboot anyway because it's a secret wars and all kinds of stuff going on. But um, yeah, I think it's possible. But anyway. let me know what you think. But yeah, I think that what that would because don't forget in the wasteland or what we call the battlelands where Loki went to when you go to where you die, like Loki met his other selves. Um, you know, get deleted by TVA, whatever we call it. Um. It's kind of like, yeah, but they don't have much forest life there. You know what I mean? I don't think it's Logan because they don't want to touch that. The only, because don't forget, the only reason why Xavier, um, Pat, uh, Sir Pat Stew or Beef Stew um, came back to play Charles Xavier was because they turned around to him and said, oh, it's not going to be the same one. Don't worry, we're not going to ruin Logan. It's going to be a different Professor X. And he went, okay then. Because that's it. They, that, it's like Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. said to, to Joe Rogan in an interview, "If the script's good and there's a perfectly valid reason for me to be able to come back without ruining what we did, then I'm up for it." Hugh Jackman also said, even though, um, uh, what do you call it? Even though he did Logan, he did actually say he always would love for Wolverine to be. 
an Avengers movie or f alongside Spider-Man because in Secret Wars apparently you've got was it Doctor Strange, Tobey Maguire, um, sorry, over uh, Tobey Maguire, Doctor Strange, Wolverine. Sorry, no, no. So, yeah, let me think. But yeah, I think that Forest. It was probably the age of Ultron. I could be wrong. It's just that I thought in the Battleland it was, it, was a, it was a mess. It was just like a grey desert with ruins and stuff all over it. That forest looked quite normal. You know what I mean? Snow. So yeah, anyway. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah. So apart from Multiverse Madness and No Way Home, which are my two favourites at the moment. Marvel haven't been, you know, a bit... The other's a bit meh. Um... I'm definitely looking forward to this film. Let me know your theories, etc., in the comments below. Uh, let me know what I've missed, whatever. The link in the the link to the trailer is in the description below, so you can watch it uninterrupted. So yeah, um, I think it's gonna be fun. I trust Ryan Reynolds. You know what I mean, people are worried that you know Disney might stick their five eggs in because they've literally ruined Marvel. They have kind of ruined it. I think, uh, I mean, yes, to be fair, I know it's expensive. I know a lot of the actors are expensive. Um, from what I've heard, though, in terms of other actors, they're not they're not expensive as you think they are. I looked at, was it wrestlers who became actors? Look at the, how much they earn. Because of Hollywood, I think it's like The Rock. Oh. His net worth is greater, is higher than Triple H's. And Triple H is like one of the, one of the CEOs of, wrestling i mean but i think the rock's got some silly net worth or something like that it's like because of hollywood wrestling you name it so um yeah it's not as high as you think but again it's kind of like so it's but it's a part of that it's kind of like um i think they realize they they've killed off the favorites too early i mean you still got four you know what i mean uh but it's like and um ant-man and all the and Bruce, you still got Hulk in that, but a lot of the famous, a lot of the favourites, the main, a couple of the main favourites. But I mean, because they said, "Oh, who's going to lead the Marvel years?" Apparently, year while well, years ago, it's like people going, "Oh, Captain Marvel will lead the MCU, blah blah," and it's like, nah. It's like I think she's kind of there's things she's done in the outside world that cocked up as well. Um, um but no, apparently, um. We've got uh, the new Captain America will obviously be the Falcon, but I think from what I've read quite a lot, I think uh, the leak because because it's uh, there's nothing against the other actors, but there's a caliber of uh, there's certain faces that have a, a caliber as it were in Hollywood. It's like there's certain things that will keep or names that keep films floating or keep genres uh, things floating, and um, I think he said was it, it'll be Doctor Strange going to be the leader, but anyway. We'll see how it goes. And, you know, because they did rumour that they're going to do Midnight Suns, but there's so many problems going on. Like I said, Marvel's fucked up, anyway. So hopefully, Deadpool will save it. He'll be like, you know. Even if they don't have Doctor Strange in it, I hope there's going to be like a little reference like, oh, if only we had a wizard who gave up gateways. You know what I mean? I'm saying joke like that. But anyway. So let me know what you think. Let me know what your theories are. Uh, who do you think the person with the, the hair, no hair is? Do you think it's McAvoy? Although, don't forget, McAvoy's also back in his chair. That's the other thing as well. That person was standing. Or do you think it's Professor X's sister? Um, so, yeah. Is the forest in the Battlelands? Or is that the, the forest in Ultron? I mean, heavy spoilers hadn't made a point. This could be, like, um, from one of the what-if universes. It could be a universe where Captain America dies. We don't know. I mean, there are lots of comics saying... Um, there's a lot of comics where it's like, oh, Deadpool destroys the Marvel Universe. I think it's going to be a play on that and a She-Hulk comic, I think it was, I said, the storyline. Um, where it's kind of be like, I suppose, in this case, he's going to save the Marvel franchise. It's like, I don't know. Thing, you know and also, it's an ex it's, it enables you to... It's like, how are we going to cross all these films, like Fox, X-Men, all that sort of thing, together? Oh, what we're going to do is this. You know what I mean? Um get Deadpool to it and that's going to lead to Secret Wars where you basically have the new Avengers I suppose you could call them that the uh, 
Uh, we got Toby McGuire. You got the X Men, Fantastic Four. You know, everyone teaming up together to fight the Kang or Victor Von Doom, whoever, go, whichever direction to go with that villain. Anyway, yeah. Let me know what you think. Like I said, anyway, I don't want to fall on Nordo. But let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know your theories. Um, are you looking forward to this? I am. I'm fucking stoked, man. And the thing is, also, that thing is, like, they may show you set photos, but it doesn't ruin it. And I trust Ryan Reynolds more than I do Disney or Feige and all these other lot. You know, so in terms of what, if he says this is happening, then they're going to be in it. They're going to be in it. Um, I know there's a lot of hate that I used to, I got, and a lot of people, um, people got from saying Tom Cruise was in it. Not being horrible, but that's not really fans' fault. They did hype a lot of shit up, and a lot of those people who apparently had inside knowledge leaked photos. And it's kind of like, we're not being funny. Tom Cruise was on the set, which is not strange. I mean, you could walk through the set, whatever. But still, come on. you got those rumours, plus you have him on the set. So it's, and, you know, I mean, all kinds of factors. So people shouldn't hate on each other for being wrong and things like that. Because to be fair, I mean, I still like Mike Voss versus Madness. At the end of the day, I don't think it, they did a bad job because they've got as well. It's a film that's meant to be Doctor Strange. You don't want people stealing the limelight of the main character. It's, it's like Spider-Man No Way Home this is, what I'm, this is what I mean it's like me getting it's like I'm a Doc Strange fan it's like me getting upset that he didn't get enough screen time in Spider-Man No Way Home I mean he did get quite a fair chunk but you know it's like oh no it's like it's Spider-Man's story he's the one that's meant to save the day hence why through half you know, the rest of the film Doc Strange was floating above the Sahara Desert for 12 hours you know what I mean do you want to, I mean, it's like people complain that Wanda was the main focus because she was trying to get to her kids and all that sort of shit. And it's like, hello, what would you think Tom Cruise and that lot would have done to the story? I thought it was great when they had, um, to be fair though, it was great though. I mean, people, the high, you know, the thing is, I take things with a pinch of salt these days. I wouldn't get, the thing is, I could still get the hype, but then I, wouldn't be like butt hurt about it. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I was wrong. Okay, fair enough. Um, because to be fair, though, it was still cool that they had Patrick Stewart in that yellow chair from the 1980s cartoon of X Men with the little tune going. That was just epic. That was just epic. Um, because it's kind of like, yeah, it's like, oh, I present you this and that, and it's like. I still think the fan favourite for uh, Mr. Fantastic should have been kept. Um, I mean, yeah, he got killed in that universe, but hey. Um, but anyway, so but it's doppelganger, isn't it? So stop going off me. So yeah, um, but yeah, I think it was a good film to go and don't forget. The problem is, we may want this. We may like. We may be sitting going, gimme, 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 gimme. But it's kind of like, yeah, but think about. What the story is about? Who the story? Who's the main? Who's the main character of the story? Because to be fair, you know we're all gonna go fucking. Thing is, to be fair though, him and Wolverine. To be fair, for the moment, before all these other things came in, was enough for us. Yeah. To be fair, that was gonna be enough for us. We knew it was gonna try. It was gonna cross something over anyway. But that wasn't enough for us at the time. We were too busy like wetting ourselves, having a geek chasm over the fact that he went and said to Hugh Jackman. You're going to dawn the claws again. He's like, yeah, mate, I'm going to be back, boy. And we're like, oh, yeah. I can't, I can't remember the song they played on that clip, but yeah. Oh, man. But yeah. So, problem is you don't want to take too much away from the main character. Um, so, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah, apart, so apart from... So, so apart from that, you know, multiverse madness, no way home. Um, because also, don't forget, they no way home did it. Uh, I think no way home probably executed it better. Um, they just they had cam cameos that we were going to go mental over, but it was kept simple. You know what I mean? Um, I mean the captain. Ma I do take a, I do take umbrage at Captain Marvel. So he took an, 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 an a, a side character like a Rambo's mum, sort of thing. You know, no offense, but it's like 
I think it's but people are like complaining. Oh, they got destroyed within a matter of seconds. It's like it's it's called arrogance, hubris. Yeah. Um. And the thing is, don't forget they had Captain. They got Captain Carter. Captain Carter there. And and clearly a lot of the what the thing is they sort of bulks up what if because what if could have linked up easily with it. That's my only issue with it, with the Captain Carter thing. Is that would make perfect sense because uh, spoiler alert, but uh, Strange Supreme considering what happens to him. It's like. Not just there, Doctor Strange, but Strange Supreme who trapped Ultra on that. Because of what he's capable of, it's like then you could see what they're on about. About um, what you call it? The thing is, they like. There's a video I did on it previously. If you um, go back and check it, um, I think they lied. I think he did. I think Doctor Strange took on Thanos himself because they haven't got a scratch on them, and he's the one that's bl bloodied and battered and things like that. Um, but there's people going, oh yeah, they got they got owned very quickly. And it's like uh, it's called hubris. They were arrogant. It's like, you know what I mean? And yeah, I mean, despite the fact that Tony, uh, Doctor Strange was dangerous, it's kind of like they're not heeding his warnings. It's like just because he was dangerous doesn't mean you can't trust him. You know what I mean? You're looking. They're judging him on this potential of being the most dangerous thing in the multiverse. It's like, but that doesn't. You know what I mean? I know. And the fact that Charles Xavier then links minds with him. So don't get me wrong. There are some meh bits in it and thing, but I still think it's one of the best films I've seen. But oh, after Infinity Wars, so No Way Home and that's probably my two favourites of life after that. And um, and this coming up, I'm so excited. But, you know, so I'm waffling now, aren't I? Sorry. But yeah, let me know what your theories are. Do you think those woods are from Logan or from Ultron or whatever? Just let me know your thoughts, theories, and let me know if you spotted something that nobody else has mentioned, etc. And like I said, uninterrupted version of the trailer is in the description below. And with that, I, that and I, I just should do what just surprise me before I go. Sorry, what actually surprised me was a fact because we were like, when this fuck is sorry, it's me French. We're like, when's this film going to come out? It's going to happen. It was it July? I think it was. Um, of this year. Oh man, I can't wait. So anyway, oh, I've got to sink my fucking eye. So anyway, dude, if you do like this video, hit like, blah, blah, blah. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Like I said, let me know in the comments your theories, ideas, and if you're looking forward to this. So yeah, take care. Bye bye, and I hope you have a great week.